You can customize the display of your EDM 960 from the pilot seat. Please note, perform these steps only when parked on the ground. To begin, hold both Step and Lean Find buttons for 5 seconds. You will see Program. Tap Exit to skip the fueling questions. Refuel. Tap Refuel to change fuel status, exactly as in the Fuel Flow tutorial. Exit Program Mode when done. The rate is the number of seconds the display will stop at each measurement in the automatic indexing mode. To increase the number, hold the Change button. To decrease the number, repeatedly tap the Change button. Select zero if you never want the scanner to enter into the automatic indexing mode. When refuel mode used on EDM, total fuel used is reset to zero. Why? Yes. Accumulate total fuel used rather than reset to zero at each refueling. Normally, EGT is displayed to 10 degrees resolution. To change this to 1 degree resolution, tap to display EGT in ones. The least significant digit of EGT is no longer always a zero. You can select the temperatures unit for outside air temperature display, either Fahrenheit or Celsius. When programming adjustments require deeper programming, the display will be in gray. After you hold down the two left buttons, the display will turn white and you can proceed with the adjustment. You can set the horsepower constant for both your engines. This value can be set up for ROP or LOP operation. This calibrates the percent horsepower display. This procedure has to be done in the air at cruise. Hold the step and lean find until you see the word program. Tap step until you see HP constants. Hold both next and button 2. Tap ROP and hold both next and button 2 until you see adjust again and plus minus on the right two buttons. Try changing the constant. Note that the percentage horsepower gauge value changes as you change the constant. This adjustment will be performed while airborne. Once airborne, by reference to the aircraft flight manual, set up a constant power setting of 70% in straight and level flight below 10,000 feet. Be sure your mixture is rich of peak. Adjust the HP constant until the EDM's percentage HP is as close as possible to 70%. To exit this adjustment, hold the left two buttons until you see the word set. Repeat for the right engine. You must set the nominal horsepower of your engines. This value is used to calculate the percent horsepower display. Tap or hold until the displayed horsepower value corresponds to nominal horsepower of your engines. You may need to fine-tune the MAP based on the altimeter settings at sea level airport. Then hold both Next and Button 2 until you see Adjust. Using the plus minus buttons, adjust the correct reading and repeat for the right engine. The K factor is shown on the fuel flow transducers as a four-digit number which is the number of pulses generated per gallon of fuel flow. You may have to do a one-time fine-tuning of the K-factor setting in the EDM 960. Make at least three flights and note the amount of fuel used as shown by the EDM 960 and the amount of fuel used when topping the tanks. In the pilot's guide there is a table for you to enter this information. If the columns comparing indicated with actual used fuel are about equal, no further adjustment needs to be made. But if the amounts are different by more than 5%, then some adjustment to the K factor should be made. <laughs> Using the simple formula shown in the pilot's guide, calculate the new K factor from the current K factor setting and the sum of the two fuel columns. Here you see a new K factor. To set this new K factor, Hold both left buttons until you see the word Adjust, then the old K factor with the first digit blinking in red. Adjust with the plus minus buttons. Use the left button to change the digits. Use Step OK to move to the next digit. 
Hold the left two buttons down to set and adjust the right engine K factor. Hold both left buttons down to exit. Next we'll be setting the GPS communications format. As before, hold down the left two buttons and select the options that match your onboard GPS equipment.